This is how NBA legends spend their millions. Let's start with Michael Jordan, who purchased a luxury G550 private jet worth $350,000 with a fully stocked bar, personal Wi-Fi, and an elephant print paint job just to match his shoes. However, flying in this jet is costly, and it set Jordan back $61 million to purchase and cost him $3 million annually just to operate. But yeah, Shaq also likes to spend big, dropping millions on customized cars, such as adding butterfly doors to his Hellcat and decking out his Rolls Royce in honor of Kobe. He even created his own monster truck, but there's one customization that takes the cake. First came from from, from uh, Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. Beverly Hills, you see all the fancy cars come by. So one day I see a Ferrari come by. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want one of those guys. So I went to the thing and the guy was like, you're too big. And I hate those words, you're too big. Yeah. I was like, I'm too big. Yeah. So one of the guys was like, well, maybe you got to buy two and put, uh, you know, cut one and a half, put them together. I was like, you know what? Maybe I will. I'll take that one and that one. And I got a Ferrari. Wait, so you built a Ferrari where yes. you cut yes. you cut them apart? Yes. And then made like together. a giant yes. stretch Ferrari. Yes. Damn, that boy Shaq has done it all. Owning 40 custom cars that valued his entire garage at over $5 million. Shaq stay riding big. On the other hand, Dwayne Wade boasts the most expensive basketball shoes globally, the Lee Ning Wei of Wade Force. These kicks will leave you stunned since they're adorned with diamonds, sapphires, and solid 18 karat gold, valued at an unbelievable $4 million. However, sometimes players can ball entirely too hard and end up losing everything. Take Allen Iverson, for instance, who was a rising star in the 90s, both on and off the court. We've been poor for 20 years plus, and I mean, I finally came into some money now. You know, I want to live a little bit now. You oh, know you living, saying? baby, you living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he spent his millions on Lambos, Bentleys, flying private jets, and even copped a $5 million mansion. AI's life seemed like a movie, but he began to splurge too hard, spending 40 k a night at the club, dropping hundreds of thousands at the casino, and giving away six-figure cars to his teammates. By the time he retired, Iverson was neck deep in debt, spending over $360,000 a month, which amounted to $4.3 million annually. Allen was unable to pay his bills when all that NBA money dried up. Iverson even faced a lawsuit from his jeweler for failing to pay over $850,000 in debt. By 2012, he was broke as a joke and had to declare bankruptcy. These NBA legends will spend every dollar to flaunt their wealth, but in contrast, some NBA legends don't spend a dime, like LeBron James. Despite earning $111 million annually and being a billionaire, he is as frugal as it gets. He doesn't even pay for Spotify and makes rookies cover dinner. Bron even packs his own snack for NBA games. Wow! So there's this morning TV talk show clip of Dwayne Wade talking to Kelly Ripa, and Kelly asks, who is the cheapest guy in the NBA? Who is it? And Dwayne Wade says, LeBron James. That is so... So, so, so boss. <laughs> I'm not turning on Data Roman. I'm not, I'm not buying no apps. This man, LeBron James, may be labeled a cheapskate, but who could blame him? He's learned a valuable lesson from Dennis Rodman's financial mistakes. Rodman had a reputation for spending an exorbitant amount on jewelry, a million dollars on a beach house, and hundreds of thousands on transforming his body. When you're living that lavish lifestyle, the last thing you want to do is manage your money. In the mid-2000s, Rodman decided to hire his closest friend, Peggy Fulford, to handle his finances. At first, everything seemed fine. Rodman continued to live his carefree lifestyle while Peggy managed his finances. However, in 2012, Rodman noticed something strange. His electricity, water, and other utilities were turned off, and he even started receiving letters indicating his bills weren't being paid. After some digging, Rodman Rodman uncovered an unnerving truth. It turned out Rodman's closest friend, Peggy Fulford, was actually robbing him blind. She stole over $1.2 million from him. In the end, Peggy got pegged. Justice was served, and Peggy was found guilty of financial fraud in 2018. Not only was she ordered to pay Rodman back, but she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Poor Rodman, he never saw it coming. But as bizarre as that may sound, it still pales in comparison to how Dwight Howard spends his money. This guy drops hundreds of thousands of dollars on snakes. I have some of the biggest snakes 
The one down here, her name is Cleopatra. How, how big will she get? Up to like 25 feet, 200 some pounds. How often have you been bit by one of your snakes? I've only been bitten three times. Yeah, is there like a scar? Yeah. Wait, let's see. That's no joke. That's a real bite. It didn't even hurt. I definitely think people have a misunderstanding about snakes. Over the years, Dwight Howard has developed a deep passion for snakes. He has accumulated a collection of over 40 of them, which is quite impressive. To ensure that his reptilian pets are well taken care of, he has hired two full-time caretakers. But Dwight's love for snakes doesn't stop there. He has gone the extra mile and spent over 100000 building them luxurious snake mansions fit for royalty. While Dwight's love for snakes is unique, Kevin the Snake Durant's spending habits are also quite unusual. Unlike other NBA players who have invested in professional sports teams, Kevin went a different route in 2022. He spent over a million dollars to become the proud owner of a major league pickleball team. Despite its odd sounding name, pickleball is quickly gaining popularity, with some calling it the fastest growing sport in America. So while his fellow players may own football, baseball, or esports teams, Kevin's investment in pickleball may just be the next big thing in the sports industry. Charles Barkley has a costly addiction that he can't seem to shake off. Despite being a talented basketball player, he has an insatiable urge to gamble. While playing in the NBA, Barkley fed his addiction by placing bets against his opponents. Unfortunately, this is against league regulations, and he got in trouble in 1990. This forced Barkley to find a new way to gamble. He decided to raise the stakes by heading to Las Vegas. However, this move only made things worse for him. In Sin City, Barkley lost control and spiraled down a dangerous path. You know, I went to Vegas a bunch of times and won a million dollars in a weekend. I did, probably 10 times. But I've also went to Vegas and lost a million probably three times that much. Chuck Barkley's love for gambling cost him dearly as he spiraled out of control and found himself in hot water with the Wynn Casino in Las Vegas. By 2008, Charles was down bad as the casino sued him for a whopping $400,000 debt. Though he managed to pay them back, the incident was a wake-up call for him, and he realized that he needed to get his gambling addiction under control. Charles took a few years off from the casinos and started to manage his gambling habits better. However, the damage was already done. He had revealed that his addiction had cost him over $20 million over the years. It was clear that Chuck had a real problem, but he's not the only NBA star with a peculiar obsession. Giannis has a soft spot for shoes, and he can't seem to get enough of them. How many shoes do you own now? I have 4,000 pairs of shoes. Wait, 4,000 pairs of shoes? Giannis is known for his love of shoes, owning over 4,000 pairs that has cost him a pretty penny. With each pair valued at around $120, Giannis has spent a total of at least $480,000 on his sneaker collection. Man, that Greek freak is more of a feet freak, but this amount is nothing compared to what some other NBA stars have spent. Take James Harden, for example. In 2017, while playing for the Houston Rockets, he spent over $1 million in a single night at the city's hottest club, Dreams. Harden was there to party, and he did just that, dropping $1.4 million on drinks, entertainment, and more. Harden made it rain so hard that the club even retired his jersey inside the venue, cementing his status as a legendary baller. But then there's Russell Westbrook, who has spent millions on his love of fashion. Ever since he was a kid, Westbrook has been interested in style, and when he started making NBA money, he decided to use it to make a statement. He's known for buying up entire stores and wearing a brand new outfit for every single day, always making headlines for his fashion choices. Wow. I heard that you don't wear the same outfit twice. Is that true? Uh, yes. Wearing such fashionable clothes comes with a hefty price tag, and Russ knows it. According to him, he shells out more than $350,000 annually on his wardrobe. It's clear that Russ is not afraid to spend big bucks to keep up his image. And after winning his fourth NBA championship in 2022, Steph Curry was ready to celebrate in a big way. And that's exactly what he did by purchasing his very own vacation home, a massive 4,200 square foot mansion in Winter Park, Florida. The luxurious property came with a hefty price tag of $2.1 million. But for a player as successful as Steph, it was just another drop in the bucket. However, when it comes to spending big bucks, no one does it quite like Michael Jordan. 
During his playing days, Jordan kept his spending relatively modest with a few cars and a mansion. But after retiring from the NBA, he developed an insatiable urge to splurge, and splurge he did. Jordan spent a whopping $15 million on his own golf course, $25 million on a NASCAR team, and a mind-boggling $88 million on not one, but two luxury yachts. But his greatest purchase yet came in 2010 when he bought the Charlotte Hornets for a staggering $175. Million. This deal made history by making Jordan the first player to own an NBA team and also turning him into a billionaire. It's safe to say that when it comes to spending, Jordan doesn't hold back. But let's talk about one more legend, Kobe Bryant. When it came to spending his millions, Kobe knew the true value of money. In 2007, he established the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation with a singular goal, to help people in need. And he did just that, from opening social service buildings to help homeless youth to donating millions to support veterans. Kobe's passion was to help others. He even holds the record for granting the most make-a-wishes in NBA history at 200. For Kobe, giving back was worth more than any amount of money he could spend. I love your haircut. Mm -hmm. I love it. If I could grow hair again, I'd do that. I know. But I put your name in the back of my head. <laughs> in 2020, the world lost a legend when Kobe Bryant passed away. However, his mission to help people will never be forgotten. After his untimely death, Kobe's wife Vanessa decided to honor his memory by renaming their charity the Mamba and Mamba Cedar Foundation. This foundation Foundation is continuing Kobe's legacy by raising millions of dollars every year to help underprivileged kids gain access to sports, all in honor of Kobe and their daughter Gigi. It's truly amazing to see how Kobe's dedication to giving back is still making a huge impact even after his passing. It just goes to show that spending your millions on a cause that truly matters can leave a lasting impact on the world.